We're joined McLean's TV. Glad to have him back. Uh, Armagh All Ireland winner, All Star, captain of the Irish international rules, the one and only uh, Stevie from Kalevi, Stevie McDonald. And Stevie, uh, great to have you back. Thanks very much, Logie. Great to be back. Yeah. And we're talking too about the uh, McKenna Cup Saturday night in the Athletic Grounds. And before we even talk about the match, what a venue! The Athletic Grounds guaranteed a crowd and guaranteed atmosphere. Yeah, fantastic venue. Um, and especially for evening matches you know with the lights floodlights on you can be guaranteed that the atmosphere is going to be electric and then when you look at the the teams that's lining out you know two near neighbours no love lost there so it's going to be a fantastic occasion all right they've already played in the Ophia cup they've already played in the mckenna cup up on owen Beg. over five thousand fans turned out in owen Beg to see tyrone scrape through by a point in the uh, group stages so there'll be a big I think there'll be an even bigger crowd in Saturday yeah you would imagine there will be a bigger crowd you know mm -hmm. and regardless of the, the competition that there is that, that's been played um, there's a cup to be won and both Derry and Tyrone want to win it and Mickey Hart's reputation in this competition is second to none and he'll certainly be sending out a team to win that game again um, you look back at the match in Owen Begg a fantastic high scoring game and you know Tyrone pr proved that goals win matches and scored some fantastic goals that day to come back, come up with the win. So Derry will be hurting from that and will want to, want to gain revenge pretty quickly. Did I just say one of my own club mates, Patrick Quinn, the man, I got a clinking goal that day uh, fantastic for Tyrone. Goal, yeah. But uh, Tyrone, Derry, Damien Barton, mm -hmm. he's done really well with this team, hasn't he? And Derry, I said, it's only a short period of time since he took over. Derry seem to be playing a more expansive, attacking style of play. Would that be fair? Yeah, well, listen, it's no secret that down through the years, Derry have always had fantastic footballers and sometimes managers come in and restrict players from playing football and Damien Barton certainly doesn't seem to be restricting the, the current Derry crop. Now, it is very early days, but he has them in the final of, of the McKenna Cup. Um, they're going particularly well and, you know, if, if they can get a win and a result against Tyrone on Saturday night, it'll do their confidence no harm going into the National League. So Damien Barton, um, he seems to have the players playing for him so far, but it is early days. But, uh, you know, generally you get that from a new, fresh manager coming in anyway. I still love the line. I know it's years old, the fact that in, in the past, in the McKenna Cup, even the McKennas didn't turn up. But uh, not anymore, you know, and it goes back even to Tyrone and Armagh, you know, back in the noughties, and there were 20,000 at a McKenna Cup yeah. game. Like 20,000 at a McKenna Cup game. Exactly, and, and thinking back at that game, um, <coughs> it, was, it was a game that I remember fondly because Joe Kiernan actually asked me to cancel my own kid's christening to play in that game, so, which I did. I wanted to play against Tyrone. Those were the games that we remember and love playing in. Um, and to, to think that there was 20,000 at a McKenna Cup match in, in January, um, pro possibly bigger crowds than these at many championship matches on the atmosphere that day in Casement Park w was fantastic. And, you know, unfortunately, from our point of view, Tyrone uh, got one over us once again. But, you know, it was a great occasion and, and a great match to be involved in. Dare I say it, Mickey Hart deserves a lot of praise. A lot of people would give him, you know, would criticise him for, for many things, but he deserves a lot of praise because he almost single-handedly, I think, got the McKenna Cup back on track because he was the first manager to really introduce a proper team to play in the McKenna Cup, and now they're going for five in a row. Yeah, there's no doubt. Mickey Hart sends out his strongest possible team on most most occasions. He's the type of manager that wants to win every single match that he that he's involved in. He wants his teams to win every match and, and, and the reality is the more games you win, the more confidence you gain and it, it normally bodes well for the, you know, the later months in the year and Tyrone once again find themselves in the final going for five in a row and Mickey Hart will be sure that if they can win on Saturday evening, they'll be going into the National League once again full of confidence and able to compete. McLean's have Tyrone as uh, favourites for the final on Saturday night. Would you agree with McLean's or do you think Derry can cause, well, Derry said, an upset? Yeah, well, if Derry, I suppose, if you look at their defence in the last game against Tyrone, if they had been a wee bit tighter, although there were some fantastic goals scored by Tyrone, they possibly could have come out on top. But each game is different and you take each game in its own merits and Tyrone in a final, generally hard to beat and I can't see past Tyrone Saturday night. Tyrone had to tighten up all the same too because in that game in one big, you talk about the Derry defence, the Tyrone defence conceded four goals. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, goals have been scored in the, throughout the McKenna Cup this year and, um, you know, both defences will be under pressure to have Tyrone and Derry, both have fantastic forward lines and it'll be interesting to see which forward line comes out on top but I imagine it's going to be Tyrone, probably a wee bit more used to playing the athletic grounds as well so 
um, I would swear a favour towards Tyrone slightly. And do you think that Damian Barton is happy enough? I know he'd want to win, he's in the final. You would know him, he's a fierce competitor. But he, overall, would he be happy enough that his team have gotten this far in the McKenna Cup? Good preparation for him to look at players, use players, ahead of what could be a difficult National League. Yeah, he'll, he'll be happy enough at the minute, but he'll still want to win it. As I said, there's silverware to be won. And when you get to a final, regardless of the competition, you still want to go and win it. And as a player... You want to go and perform in these type of competitions, especially when you're you're pitting yourself against a team that, that reached the All Ireland semi final last year. So, you want to compete against the best and try to beat the best. And this is an opportunity for Derry not only to gain a wee bit of confidence, but to give morale within the county an awful boost as well. Because if if Derry supporters believe in the team, you'll find that Derry teams generally will will perform at a higher level.